Alright, so I just want to do a quick video on addiction and a little bit of hypocrisy. Seeing if I can combine the two subjects. Um, so, the main thing with addiction to keep in mind is there is such a thing as a good addiction. And as far as withdrawal symptoms and the actual practicality of it, it all begins in the mind. So, yes, an addiction can become physical. It can have physical tendencies to it um, that can hold one back from where they're supposed to be in life or, you know, take them down a path that they don't want to go on. However, um, within hermeticism, you have the idea of mental that is taking this to a whole nother level that everything begins with the mind. Um, everything you see around you, all the cars, all the trees, well, you could say the trees were conceived in the, the mind of God. Uh, the cars, the tables, the chairs, they were all constructed at some point and they began with an idea in someone's head. Um, Addiction doesn't have to be bad. You can be addicted to working out or going to your job. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, however, if it gets out of hand and you have an unhealthy addiction, this can be problematic. But if you can maintain the perspective that it does begin with the mind, you can begin to shift your perspective as to how these things are affecting you say one day you think you know what this isn't so bad if you're going through withdrawal symptoms or something of that nature um, next day you say I can hardly feel it and you know if, if you're determined enough you can change your mind and you can change your life um, this whole idea that addiction is ungodly and is against the church I, I don't believe that was ever really what it was meant to be about, um, it was about helping people, and so, um, with that being said, just try to maintain a humble perspective that just because someone's not where you're at in life doesn't necessarily mean they're any less than you. That's at least the way I do it, and, um, as far as hypocrisy goes, there's a lot of people within the church and uh, just our society in general, specifically places of higher power, that will utilize things like this to get under people's skin and derail their platform or their political viewpoint because simply because they don't have the willpower to overcome this demon that uh, they're struggling with. And that's really what it can be sometimes. It's, it's quite a monstrous situation in some circumstances, but you can easily work your way out of it as long as you believe it. Um, this perception is everything. So, um, the, hip the hypocrisy within the world today is on a level that's not really feasible in order to have a fully functioning society. If you are going to talk the talk, you have to walk the walk. You can't just be addicted to, say, opiates behind the scenes while you're arresting people for marijuana use or something like that because they are along the same lines. Um, just because it's legal doesn't necessarily mean that you have a better view on reality or what should be allowed and what shouldn't. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to point that out and thought it might open people's minds to what's going on in the world and maybe provide some form of premise that can help us come up with a solution. Um, you know, if, if people really become able to understand one another, there should be a lot less problems with this and, uh, you know, equality that that might just be our saving grace. Thank you for watching.